let's make new exercise in autodesk inventor sheet metal so this is our new exercise now here we are going to start with this face you will see this all views see here here this is the front face let's consider not front this is side face now see bottom depth 38 distance from here to circle 43 17 this outer radius 7 the inner radius see all holes 5 diameter okay then this thickness all dimensions are in millimeter thickness 3 millimeter all holes are 5 millimeter diameter 5 now here you will see 20 millimeter is the distance so we will make one and then we will mirror it okay let's do it here select new now here in matrix i am going to use millimeter sheet metal create now before going to start any parts in sheet metal let's define few predefined few basic basic dimensions so go to sheet metal 3d sheet metal and in sheet metal default now here we can change see thickness 0 0.5 material everything just click on this symbol and here you will come sheet metal rule default now material we will let's say stainless steel now thickness 3 millimeter meter rip 3 millimeter bend let's keep as see bend radius keep equivalent to thickness this is important and rest i'll keep as it is we are not going to change anything save and close now here see define 3 millimeter sheet stainless steel k factor and we will keep standard we will not going to we will discuss in some other letter now first we have to choose 2d sketch now here i am going to select x or y z plane now activate circle and i am going to st start from here just draw and you will see parallel dimension also there so the diameter 14 enter i am going to draw somewhere here 14 enter okay again let's create this 5 millimeter inside one okay press escape key to out activate line to now start from this end and connect with this now again hold shift key now start line from here hold shift key and move cursor and when you saw tangent mark just click and leave escape key to out now here i am going to choose according to view the vertical this is going to be horizontal line according to view activate smart dimension now first this distance 43 this is 38 and this line distance from here 17 now escape key to out now select here see equivalent constraint now click this one and this one now our drawing fully defined now just press escape key and here we go simply finish sketch and select face now first we have to choose profile so there are many close profiles so we have to choose this all profile don't choose whole see here and this is going to be new solid body direction okay we like to keep this positive direction material everything by default everything selected say okay now select plane Sh shift and rotate with middle mouse select back surface and drag and see we want to drag this side so here let's say center distance 20 so minus 20, 10 is going to be middle one here activate mirror now first mirror individual features select this one then feature i'm going to select this one now click mirror plane 
select mirror now you will see the preview okay that's fine now right click on walk plane uncheck visibility fine now you will see backside 22 millimeter height 14 millimeter from here to here and uh, this distance see here 48 millimeter from this end okay now here let's check this flange 19 millimeter from here to here whole distance 13 millimeter center distance 24 6 millimeter from one side the corner radius you will see all 6 millimeter so let's do whatever possible now first we have to create a plane hold shift key rotate select plane now click this one now drag now we are going upside so minus 14 okay now click on plane create a sketch activate line tool and make sure connect properly skip to out dimension now let's make the outer dimension 48 activate here fillet keep 6 millimeter and select these two ends cancel Now just check once what else balance okay delete this any excess line created now look this is fully defined this sketch so simply finish now select contour flange now here only one line here select new solid let's say top view direction change direction offset direction thickness we will keep as it is do not touch here now age already selected now this is going downward direction so change width extent reverse distance 22 say ok now here we have two bodies so just go to 3d model and here you will find option called combine body base body this is the base body tool body this is tool body and here in output boolean choose join say ok now here you will see only one body in solid body that's fine right click and uh, uncheck visibility sheet metal select flange now this time I am going to select this one now so this is 19 millimeter so choose 19 now if you see front this is going to start from here so I am going to choose from intersection of two outer faces dimension going to be from here 90 millimeter is the angle bend position also inside of reference plane and bending radi radius is just equivalent to thickness say ok A sketch now here let's make hole this hole 5 second hole create somewhere here escape key to out now let's important constraint select e equal select these two then vertical select the center point and this center point escape key to out now activate dimension let's define the dimension 24 ok now distance from this outer line shows 13 millimeter ok then distance from this outer edge 6 millimeter now this is fully constrained now go to 
finish sketch and here activate cut feature. For cut feature you have to select profile so one two. Now here see profile already selected now we selected these two. Now distance distance here thickness even though you can define three millimeter but thickness is enough to define this. Now direction is proper way going downward say ok. Look mirror feature now let's, let me select feature 1 from here and cut 2. Activate plane plane is the previous one the plane 1 uh, look the preview just hold shift key and rotate with middle mouse say ok look now here corner round 6 millimeter select these two rounds ok now here let's check some more see this corner 3 millimeter and this corner 6 millimeter this is the important corners corner round now this time I am going to select 3 millimeter now select now select these edges apply now change here 6 select and select these two edges ok now here around all three fillets created now look how we created our sheet metal part in Autodesk Inventor with the help of drawing. Even though let's change material, so material you can change it from here. We already apply stainless steel appearance, even though you can change it from here. Uh, initially, we applied red color or something. So, this is how we done now. If you come in flat pattern, create flat pattern. Now look, this is how we can create flat pattern. Now go to folded and this is how you can make a beautiful sheet metal in Autodesk Inventor with the help of sheet metal feature. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks and Autodesk Inventor. Thanks for watching.